Item number SCP-2353 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2353 has been contained in a standard humanoid containment chamber and does not require any nutrition plan. All personnel in SCP-2353's presence are forbidden from wearing inappropriate garments, footwear, and accessories. The list of inappropriate clothing is fully detailed in Document 2353, but includes the following From Crocs, company known as Crocs White clothing, including laboratory coats, between the first Monday of September and the first day of spring any kind of flip-flop or sandal when worn with socks. Denim shorts, commonly known as jorts. Additionally, SCP-2353 is allowed access to a sewing machine and a rolling allowance of 35 US dollars a month to purchase magazines, fabric, and other equipment. Access to this sewing machine and allowance may be revoked as a disciplinary measure. Description SCP-2353 is a sapient animate mannequin of 1.6 meters in height and 2 kilograms in weight. It is composed of fiberglass with blue eyes, red lips, and light flesh tone painted on. It is capable of communicating in English, Spanish, Mandarin, Arabic, French, and Russian in a woman's voice. As SCP-2353 is completely hollow, it is unknown how it is able to speak. SCP-2353 reacts in a hostile and uncooperative manner when presented with humans wearing inappropriate clothing detailed in Document 2353. When presented with such clothing or accessories, SCP-2353 will often turn its back to the human and request for phone privileges in order to contact the United Nations. SCP-2353 was found in chain clothing department store attached to a mall. Video recordings of SCP-2353 contain evidence of SCP-2353 talking to itself while attempting to conceal or destroy articles of clothing it disapproved of. The Foundation was alerted on October 10th, 2015, when SCP-2353 stepped out of its display window and ran into the mall. The following is a video transcript of the event and initial interview after successful containment. Transcript 2353-1 Begin Log 10 hours 23 minutes SCP-2353 is seen in the display window through a surveillance camera. Its head moves to the right without visible manipulation. SCP-2353 can be heard speaking. An unknown male entity can be heard talking to it. Possibly one of the other mannequins. Investigation is ongoing. Oh no, this is the last draw. I've been working at this Macy's for the past five years, and this is the last freaking straw. Damn it, Stacy, calm down. Just as gonna learn on their own. How many times I gotta tell you, it ain't worth our jobs. Stacy, Stacy, please. Don't you, Stacy, please me. I'm not tolerating this anymore. The guy's wearing at least two sizes too small. That muffin pops more like a mushroom cloud. SCP-2353 steps out the display case and begins running towards a woman accompanied by a man carrying bags of clothing. 10 hours, 25 minutes. SCP-2353 tackles the man and begins to try and remove his pants. With all due respect, what is wrong with you? We have some proper sizes. No one wants to see squish sausage. What the frick? Man begins to struggle with SCP-2353. 10 hours, 26 minutes. SCP-2353 successfully removes the man's pants. Shut up! There's a perfectly good jean sale going on at the Levi's, like three stores down to your right. Buy one, get one 75% off. Get those poor people to give you a proper resizing for once in your life. Your boss are thankful for it. It's just some sick... Freaking PR stunt! I didn't consent to this! The woman physically assaults SCP-2353 with her purse. 
10 hours, 30 minutes. SCP-2353 picks up one of the bags of clothing and physically assaults the woman with it. What the frick is wrong with you, miss? I saw you in the croc store last week. There wasn't even a sale going on. You have, like, no excuse. Even that kind poor fella cashiering the damn place was giving you a side eye. 10 hours, 35 minutes. SCP-2353 and a woman continue to argue. Plainclothes guards arrive to separate the two. The foundation is alerted. 10 hours, 36 minutes. A guard has difficulty handcuffing SCP-2353 due to its lack of adequate range of arm movement. 10 hours, 40 minutes. SCP-2353 successfully escapes the grasp of the guard and flees downstairs. The guards pursue. 10 hours, 45 minutes. SCP-2353 stops to assault a woman's feet. Are you blind? What the hell kind of bumpy sandals are these? Zebra prints? There's a shoe store literally behind you. Actually, I am the... Oh my god, I'm so sorry, miss. I got a play card and plenty of money I never use. Come on, let's get you on a shopping spree during the one day sale. Just because you can't see doesn't mean you can't look fierce. 10 hours, 47 minutes. A plainclothed guard forcefully maneuvers SCP-2353 to the floor. SCP-2353 is taken to a holding cell for further containment by the Foundation. End log. Interview log 2353-01. Date, October 10th, 2015. Interviewee. SCP-2353. Interviewer. Dr. Kumalo. Notes. This interview was conducted two hours after the Foundation's acquisition of SCP-2353. Begin log. Hello, SCP-2353. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Oh my god, ew, ew! SCP-2353 turns away from Dr. Kumalo. I'm sorry, is something the matter? Can't I do something for you? Yeah, sure. I need to call to you and to report a violation of the Geneva Conventions. Right after Labor Day? My God, not even secret organizations are safe. SCP-2353 refuses to communicate for the remainder of the interview. End log.